she had just been working as a cleaner in a hotel. But 10 minutes later, she was riding to school in a top-of-the-line limousine. The stretch Lincoln became the center of attention wherever it went, making them envious and curious as to who enjoyed such treatment. The car drove into the campus and stopped steadily. The driver got out and slowly opened the door for her. Sarah calmly stepped out of the luxury car. By her six jaw dropped in shock when she saw this girl. Even the handsome boys of the school took off their sunglasses and peeped at Sarah. Everyone speculates which rich man's daughter Sarah is. While Sarah heads straight to the restaurant, Byrisic is curious about her identity, so she and her to henchmen go to meet Sarah again. They arrive at the cafeteria and find Sarah. Byrisic's henchmen immediately greeted Sarah with tickets to a charity dinner, and all the guests who can attend this dinner are undoubtedly from rich and powerful families. So a ticket to the dinner was worth 100,000 liras, but Sarah refused to attend, saying that her money was spent on stray animals. Now Byersik and her henchmen are even more convinced that Sarah is an aristocrat. When they saw Sarah eating ordinary bread, they thought she was deliberately keeping a low profile. In fact, Sarah was not born into a wealthy family but was very poor. In order to pay for her college tuition, she worked as a hotel cleaner every day. One day she picked up a package left by a rich man. A few minutes later, the rich man's bodyguard came to demand the package. Sarah asked for the bodyguard's id, as per the hotel's rules, but the bodyguard tried to take the parcel by force. Then rich man arrives and apologizes to Sarah on behalf of his bodyguard. After he showed his id, Sarah was relieved to hand the package back to him. Rich man appreciated Sarah's serious attitude towards his work. When he learned that Sarah was going to be late for school, he ordered his bodyguard to drive her to school. Sarah wanted to refuse his offer, but he said he wanted to apologize for what he had just done. Sarah thought she would be late for school anyway, so she agreed, but she was surprised to see his bodyguard driving an 8 meter long luxury car. Once in the limo, Sarah couldn't stop smiling, and it was clear she was enjoying herself, but she didn't want to be too high profile. So she asked the bodyguard to find a deserted place for her to get out of the car. She didn't realize that the bodyguard was so dedicated that he had to drop her off at the school. And it was rich man's kindness that made Sarah the buzz of the school and even made it to the school's trending search pages. This inadvertently also brought Sarah a lot of hatred. Afterwards, rich man even took the initiative to find the owner of the hotel to thank her and praised her and also left a generous reward. The owner knew that Sarah was often late for class due to her part-time job, so he sent the hotel's hospitality car to take Sarah to school. But this time, Sarah was in big trouble. The hotel car got stuck in front of the school with a car, belonging to a rich second generation. Although Sarah came here first, Selen was very rude to her because of his family's wealth and the fact that the school is owned by his family. I tell Sarah to move her car because he's going to be late for class. Sarah wasn't going to budge and argue with him in front of the school. This scene was videotaped by her classmates and posted on the internet as a fight between a mysterious rich girl and a plutocrat heir. So Sarah was on the trending search media for some reason. The security guard saw that both of them refused to give in to each other. So he rushed to mediate, but he didn't dare to offend them because one of them is a sponsor of the school and the other is a mysterious rich girl. Moreover, Sarah came to school yesterday in an amateur long Lincoln, so her background must be very noble. Eventually, the security guard decided to use the principal's name to suppress Selim. He told Selim that your brother-in-law as the principal will be here soon. Selim then realized that he couldn't make a big deal out of it, so he had to turn around and get into his sports car first. This interlude ended with Selim compromising. <laughs> And Byrisek, who has always loved Selim, saw a video of the two of them arguing on the internet. She was jealous of Sarah for some reason, so she rushed to Selim with her followers and asked him what was going on. Selim didn't realize that things had gotten so serious, so he was ready to go to Sarah to straighten things out. But as soon as he left the house, he bumped into a gray-haired girl. He didn't want any more trouble, so he crouched down to help her pick up her books. The classmates were shocked by this scene. Even gray-haired girl is confused. Is this still the rich second generation that has no regard for others? Selim returned the book to her and said sorry, then turned around and left. He did not pay any attention to the girl who frowns in place. Soon after, Selim found Sarah in the library. He asked her, now that the video of our fight is all over the internet, what do you think about it? Right, obviously I gave you the right of way in the end, and now I'm being accused of bullying a girl. Sarah said, my car came first. You should give way to us, but you still want to bully us. What people say in the comment section is also the truth.
Okay. Sarah's honest behavior catches the attention of Selim's best friend Ali. Ali stops Selim and said that Sarah is his type and asks Selim not to take her away from him. Selim said don't worry, I will never say another word to her again. However, Selim was called to the office by the principal. The principal said that his grades were so bad that he had failed almost every subject, which had caused his plutocrat father serious discontent. So the principal decided to find Selim a good student to tutor him. Selim dared not refuse the principal when he heard his father was angry. But when Selim saw the girl who came into the office, he suddenly got dumbfounded. One day ago, Sarah knocked on the door to clean the guest room as usual, only to find out that the guest was a school hunk from her school. Selim is so handsome and rich that he is the center of attention wherever he goes. He is surrounded by many suitors, and some girls even express their love in his luxury car by riding with lipstick. However, Sarah had a conflict with Selim. Luckily, he didn't even look at Sarah when he opened the door to avoid being recognized by Selim. Sarah hid in the bathroom. When he left the room, Sarah came out of the bathroom. She thought the encounter was just a coincidence, but she didn't realize that the principal had arranged for her to tutor Selim. Since they had an argument earlier, they both looked at each other unfavorably. After leaving the principal's office, he was not happy before she said anything. He said, we don't get along, but it's my father's arrangement and I can't refuse. So please tell the principal that we can't study together. Sarah said she was a married student, so she wouldn't refuse the principal's arrangement, seeing that she seemed to be a bit angry. Selim knew that since he couldn't change the principal's arrangement, he couldn't make things too difficult with her. Suddenly he said that he had seen her somewhere before. Sarah is shocked. Is he remembering that he saw her in the hotel? But immediately afterward, she breathes a sigh of relief because Selim actually asks her if she asked him for a date. Ya ne bol durumu? Aa, bile biliyor musun? Senin dişlerin ne varmış hatta? Unsurprisingly, Sarah laughed at his words, and things got a little easier between the two of them. Then they went to the cafeteria, and Sarah started to ring him on his homework. Whenever Sarah asked him if he understood, he would always say yes. But when she asked him to tell her how to answer the question again, not only could he not tell her anything, but he said that Sarah didn't trust him. Sarah was left speechless by Selim. The scene of the two of them studying together is seen by Ali. Ali thinks that Selim is trying to woo Sarah, so he secretly reminds Selim that <laughs> And one of Bayersik's followers received a photo of the two of them studying together. When Bayersik, who loves Selim, saw the photo, she got jealous. She thought they didn't look like they were studying together. Bayersik reassured herself that this girl is not Selim's type and Selim must have a reason for being with her. On the other hand, Selim gradually realized that Sarah seemed to be completely different from the other girls. She was full of confidence and pride. After the tutoring session, Selim said that he would like Sarah to tutor him next time if possible. Sarah said yes and stood up to leave. Selim wanted to say something to her, so we gathered his courage and called out to her. Sarah. So. On the other hand, approached Ali and asked him to bring Selim to her party. Ali, of course, was happy to help. After all, if Bayrasek and Selim could be a couple, then no one would steal Sarah from him. In the evening, Ali brought Selim to the party on time. Bayrasek was dressed to the nines, and anyone who looked at her could not help but marvel at her beauty. But Selim was totally distracted and left the party with an excuse, leaving Bayrasek alone and heartbroken. She didn't understand why Selim didn't even look at her when she was so rich and beautiful. When Selim went back to his room, all they could think about was Sarah. He couldn't even help but laugh at the thought of her.